The Royal African Company RAC was an English mercantile trading company set up by the Stuart family and City of London merchants to trade along the west coast of Africa. It was led by the Duke of York, who was the brother of Charles II and later took the throne as James II. Its original purpose was to exploit the gold fields up the Gambia River, which were identified by Prince Rupert during the Interregnum. It was established after Charles II gained the English throne in the Restoration of 1660. However, it was soon engaged in the slave trade, as well as with other commodities. It mainly traded with the Gold Coast, which is now Ghana. History Originally known as the Company of Royal Adventurers Trading to Africa, by its charter issued in 1660 it was granted a monopoly over English trade along the west coast of Africa, with the principal objective being the search for gold. In 1663 a new charter was obtained which also mentioned the trade in slaves. With the help of the army and navy, it established forts on the West African coast that served as staging and trading stations, and was responsible for seizing any English ships that attempted to operate in violation of the company's monopoly known as interlopers. In the prize court, the king received half of the proceeds and the company half from the seizure of these interlopers. The company fell heavily into debt in 1667. During the war with the Netherlands, the very war it had itself started when its Admiral Robert Holmes had attacked the Dutch African trade posts in 1664, as it had lost most of its forts on the African coast except for Cape Corse. For several years after that, the company maintained some desultory trade, including licensing single-trip private traders, but its biggest effort was the creation in 1668 of the Gambia Adventurers, a new company separately subscribed and granted a 10-year license for African trade north of the Bight of Benin with effect from 1 January 1669. In 1672, the original company re-emerged, restructured and with a new charter from the king, as the new Royal African Company. Its new charter was broader than the old one and included the right to set up forts and factories, maintain troops and exercise martial law in West Africa, in pursuit of trade in gold, silver and slaves. At the end of 1678, the license to the Gambia adventurers expired and its Gambian trade was merged into the company. In the 1680s the company was transporting about 5,000 slaves a year across the Atlantic. Many were branded with the letters, "Die." For its governor, the Duke of York, who succeeded his brother on the throne in 1685, becoming King James II. Other slaves were branded with the company's initials, RAC, on their chests. Between 1662 and 1731, the company transported approximately 212,000 slaves, of whom 44,000 died en route. Ships' crew mortality rates were often similar and sometimes greater than the mortality rates amongst the slaves. Its profits made a major contribution to the increase in the financial power of those who controlled the City of London. From 1694 to 1700, the company was a major participant in the Comenda Wars in the port city Comenda in the Igafo Kingdom in modern-day Ghana. The company allied with a merchant prince named John Cabas and various neighbouring African kingdoms to depose the King of Igafo and establish a permanent fort and factory in Comenda. In 1689, the company acknowledged that it had lost its monopoly with the end of royal power in the Glorious Revolution and it ceased issuing letters of marque. To maintain the company and its infrastructure and end its monopoly, Parliament passed the Trade with Africa Act 1697 9 Will, 3 C, 26, which among other things, opened the African trade to all English merchants who paid a 10% levy to the company on all goods exported from Africa. This development was advantageous for merchants in Bristol even if, like the Bristolian Edward Colston, they had already been involved in the trade. The number of slaves transported on English ships subsequently increased dramatically. The company continued purchasing and transporting slaves until 1731, when it abandoned slaving in favor of ivory and gold dust. From 1668 to 1722, the Royal African Company provided gold to the English mint. Coins made with such gold bear an elephant below the bust of the king and or queen. This gold also gave the coinage its name, the guinea. Topic. Members and officials 
Charles Hayes 1678 mathematician and chronologer, was sub-governor of Royal African Company until 1752, when it was dissolved. Edward Colston 1636 merchant, philanthropist, and member of parliament, was involved with the Royal African Company from 1680 to 1692, as a member initially, and rising to become deputy governor, its most senior executive position, from 1689 to 1690. Topic. List of notable investors Charles II of England James Stuart, Duke of York, Governor of the RAC from its creation and largest shareholder John Locke Samuel Pepys Anthony Ashley Cooper, 1st Earl of Shaftesbury Sir Robert Clayton Sir Edmund Andros Henry Bennett Earl of Arlington George Villiers Lord Buckingham Sir George Carteret Earl of Craven Lawrence du Puy Ferdinand Gorges Lord Francis Holly Thomas Povey Prince Rupert Sir Joseph Williamson Matthew Wren Sir Peter Colton Sir John Banks Sir Josiah Child Topic. Dissolution The Royal African Company was dissolved by the African Company Act 1750 with its assets being transferred to the African Company of Merchants. These principally consisted of nine trading posts known as factories, Fort William, Fort James, Fort Secondi, Fort Winneba, Fort Apollonia, Fort Tantumquiri, Fort Metal Cross, Fort Comenda, and Cape Coast Castle, the last of which was the administrative centre. See also List of trading companies Topic Notes Topic Further reading Davies, Kenneth Gordon. The Royal African Company Routledge, Thomes Press, 1999. Pettigrew, William A. Freedom's Debt, The Royal African Company and the Politics of the Atlantic Slave Trade, 1672–1752. Chapel Hill, N.C., University of North Carolina Press, 2014. Topic. External links Archival material relating to Company of Royal Adventurers of England trading with Africa. UK National Archives. Archival material relating to Royal African Company. UK National Archives. The Royal African Company by K.G. Davies.